it important for people to get involved in city government? Well, I think the, the real uh, success of any city government, any local government, uh, is for uh, people to become involved in some way, certainly to become informed about what's happening, the issues in the city. Uh, but beyond just being informed when they go to the polling place to vote for the right people, they need to really get involved in how the city government is run. So uh, they need to be participating in uh, boards and commissions, uh, serving as appointees. Uh, certainly there's a lot to be said for uh, becoming involved in your community by participating in nonprofit organizations, but you know, those same opportunities exist at the, uh, in, within government, uh, within the uh, advisory boards we have, the regulatory boards, uh, or the, those uh, commissions and committees that uh, help us manage what goes on here in the city. Are there a wide variety of opportunities for people to get involved? We have a, a multitude of opportunities for people to get involved in, in city government. Certainly, uh, we have a number of land use boards like the Planning Board, Conservation Commission, Board of Appeals. Uh, we have to have a couple of vacancies right now on the Conservation Commission and uh, would love to get some new people involved that, in that, uh, dealing with many of the environmental issues that uh, face the community as we uh, you know, deal with development that, that takes place. We have cultural organizations, those that are interested in culture. We have certainly the, um, the library, uh, Board of Trustees of the library. We have the Cultural Council. We have the, uh, the uh, cool organization. Uh, the, uh, so certainly there, there are things that people can do there. We also have opportunities for people who are interested in you know, the day-to-day -day operations of the, of the city with uh, you know, specialized committee like uh, Animal Advisory Committee or the Taxi Cab Committee. Uh, they don't meet very often, but they deal with issues of animal control, and, and certainly in the case of animal advisory, uh, or the Taxi Cab Commission deals with a very specialized area of how taxi cabs uh, operate within the city, a, a different form of transportation certainly here. We have a, uh, the uh, Low Memorial Auditorium has a board of trustees responsible for uh, helping us manage what goes on at the auditorium and in its operation. Uh, we have a vacancy uh, or two there that comes up from time to time. Um, so, we have an immigration uh, commission that uh, is working to improve the immigration experience here. Uh, city, the city of Lowell is you know, known for the diversity that we have, uh, but you know, when we have people come here, refugees, immigrants, uh, we want to find a way to make it a more welcoming city for them and cut through the barriers that can help them become effective citizens. So, certainly, and, and we have committees that go beyond that, but certainly there are opportunities that uh, pe people should check on. How can people get involved if they're interested? Well, the best way to, to get involved is, it, you know, we're going to we post when there are vacancies. We have to try to advertise those, those vacancies on our website. Uh, and hopefully the newspaper from time to time has some stories about the vacancies that exist. Uh, so people can call uh, my office, the city manager's office, uh, and speak to uh, someone here about the vacancies that we have. Uh, and they can sort of focus in on uh, a vacancy that might exist at a given time. But I'm always welcoming people to send me their resume, send me a letter of interest that explains what they do, what their interests are, uh, and then as vacancies arise, we can pull out those resumes and try to match people up. Um, and you know, we, we're always looking for people that we might be able to fall back on to, to help us solve a problem. If it's a, certainly a standing committee that exists in ordinance or otherwise, but uh, even, um, you know, I'm about to uh, appoint a new police chief. Uh, I'm going to be looking for citizens to participate in that process. Uh, if I have resumes in place, I can look to that. Uh, but, uh, you know, if people are interested in something like that, they can, they can get in touch with. But the city of Lowell, like any municipal government, is only as good as the involvement that people have, uh, whether it's um, running for office to the one extreme, uh, just becoming informed in voting, or becoming a little bit more hands-on in getting involved in those boards and commissions. Actually, those are the only questions I had at this time. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Melissa. Corey? Uh, yes, sir, you, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, I only live um, just a, you know, about a half a dozen streets down from, uh, from the proposed uh, plan here. And, one thing I will say is uh, the business uh, has always been responsible. And that site always seems to look good, and I know we've uh, helped them 
he has passed. Uh, he's been in front of this board and he's seemed to always live up to his obligations, the uh, concerns that his, this board's had, and as well as the neighbors. And um, so um, I think that does bear mentioning. And I, you know, I, I understand what he's trying to achieve. The nature of his business is stereos and alarms and remote starters, and that's uh, an extra, so to speak. Um, you know, and that may have declined over the years with the, with the economy. It's understandable. I do understand what you're trying to achieve. You know, purchase a vehicle, fix it up, put these extras in it, and then sell it as is. So I, I do understand, appreciate, as a business, uh, what, what you're trying to accomplish. Um, with respect to uh, application for a special event permit for amplification of sound, uh, Richard Barrett of Kilkenny Pub, 660 Roger Street, sound system with the band disc jockey, St. Patrick's Day, Sunday, March 17th, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., in a tenant closed area in the parking lot adjacent to Kilkenny Pub, 660 Roger Street. Introduce yourself for the record. Uh, Richard Barrett, Kilkenny Pub, Lowell. St. Patrick's Day is on a Sunday this year. Um, your establishment is in a residential neighborhood. You know, there's departments to the right of you, and there's houses, you know, there's houses behind you. Um, as we always say, the amplific amplification is a uh, common sense license. They can hear it um, in the highlands. It's too loud. Okay. Be good to your neighbors. I know you are. Um, so I don't know if you guys have any comments. If he, he can hear it at Christie's house, then we have an issue. <laughs> That's the way we go. How, how big is this tent? Uh, 30 by 60. Uh, I don't think we've had any issues with you in the past for sound or anything. Um, I move acceptance. All right. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, so moved. This is a good segue. Um, Mr. Lockhart's final comments were about the, um, the sidewalk improvements and the safety improvements, uh, and that is exactly the issue I wanted to get into that I feel is uh, the key here. <clears throat> there is a statement of that the handbook will con include instructions for parents not to use Dingwell Street, uh, driving north along Dingwell Street as a way to avoid Wood Street. Um, I wanted to express my opinion that I do not believe in rules and handbooks. I believe in granite curbing. I believe in concrete. <laughs> I believe in asphalt width. And on my best days, I can work up some faith in street signage. Um, I believe that as we proceed on this, that the um, rule in the handbook uh, should not really be taken all that seriously.